Hey everybody, it's Scotty from Scotty's Record Shop with, uh, I guess what we'll call, uh, July Vinyl Finds, even though some of this stuff is from before July, but whatever. It's going to be a little bit of a, I'm going to try to blow through this, but um, it's not even everything that I've found and it may take a little while, so sit back, relax, hopefully it's not too long for you guys. Um, as always, thank you for subscribing. I just wanted to throw this out here. Uh, I've been around the VC for almost two years now. I'm almost at 500. If you could tell your friends about this channel, hey, tell your enemies about this channel. Um, I'd like to get 500 subs uh, in the next month or so. I know I got about 50 or 60 or something like that to go, but if you guys could help me out, that would really be kind of cool. I don't do contests and stuff. I don't. I, I just feel kind of weird about it. I, I don't have a problem. I've even entered other people's contests. I just kind of feel weird. I don't know why about it, but about doing it myself so you know word of mouth you know anyway all kinds of different music in this pile um, like I said it's not everything but it's it's kind of a nice cross-section of some of the stuff that has found its way into my house into my collection start off kind of weird but I love it and I don't I don't make any apologies for it a, a dollar uh, a dollar deal at Goodwill. I don't go to Goodwill very often because the records at Goodwill where I live usually aren't very good. I don't, I'm not lucky. But um, this was kind of cool. So, an Al Jolson. Um, best of. These were all re-records that he did in the 40s before he died. He died in 1950. But um, still a lot of classic stuff. It's a double LP uh, on, um, on MCA, I believe. Uh, let's see. This I was really impressed with, actually. I'd heard about these guys. This was a dollar record. Um, the band Mason Prophet, 1969. I picked up another album by them, too. Um, this was their first record, Wanted. And uh, I really, really, really was impressed with this. Um, it's just very early country rock. You know what I mean? Uh, heavy on the country, but um, at times with elements of rock. Very, very good stuff. Um, a Fleetwood Mac album, um, The Mask. I got this. I haven't even opened it yet. For a buck, sealed. It's like very, very cool. Have this on CD. It's not a bad record. Uh, Lindsey Buckingham is not it, and Stevie Nicks is not it. But I, I still felt it was a pretty good record. Um, got this for a dollar too because of the sticker, and it's got a little ring wear. But sometimes you two records are. Uh, a little pricey at times, and um, I like you two, and I'm getting stuff slowly but surely, but on my terms, and expensively, and I really don't care if there's a sticker here. You know, you don't play the cover, you know. Jojo Gunn, first record. Jay Ferguson, it's an original press, I don't know if there's any other presses other than this, but um, great album. This was going to end up being an introduction for me for this group, the band Focus. This is Dutch Masters. It's a compilation, and I've decided after hearing this. I mean, the only song honestly I had ever heard by them was Hocus Focus. But after hearing this, I'm like, okay, I'm getting more Focus albums. These guys really, really a cool group. I really like them a lot. Um, what is this? This is a Golden Earring album, a later album. But early 80s cut it's the album that has Twilight Zone on it again with that sticker um, that's part of the reason why these albums are all in really good shape but you couldn't sell them for hire because people are particular about the covers some people are and if they've got a sticker that really can't be removed then these can't be removed I've tried and they just it's a mess another one for a dollar uh, Pete Townshend Again, collecting his stuff slowly but surely. Love the Who. Got most of the Who albums. Um, this wasn't a buck, but still, it was one of them that I was missing. The Springsteen album. I've got everything now up to this point. So, this is one that I'll probably take. A, I don't want to say I'll take a few hits for, but people are like. But you know what? I make no I make no messes about it. I'm commercial. I'm proud of it. I could care less. I, I some of the stuff I like could be very unhip. 
and that's okay. And this will fall under the unhip category. But um, this is the, the second Air Supply album, and it actually was only released in Australia. I have the first two, which were only released in Australia. This is not a bad album on uh, CBS Records. I had a friend of mine send me this a while ago, and it's not bad. I mean, if you like Little River Band 70s stuff, you'd probably like that. You know what I mean? So, okay. Some, some imported stuff, I guess would be the term here. I have a U.S. copy of this. This is a Canadian copy of Hart's first album. Um, not much. I, I haven't listened to it yet. I believe the track listing and everything's the same. It's just a Canadian pressing of it. Um, that I got in a lot of, of albums and, and there was a lot of imported stuff. Here's a good example of another hard album. This is, um, I, I, you know, most of us have magazines. But the cool thing about this is that it's a, it's a, a British import and it's on Arista. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it wasn't on Mushroom. It's on Arista. That's, I guess, the label they were on in, in the UK. Same track listing and everything, but uh, a great album from Hart. Uh, another one that was in the pile that's a little unique is um, Dog and Butterfly. I have a nice copy of it already, but um, this one, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not. You probably can, maybe. But it's an import. It's got, not an import, it's a, a promotional thing. You can maybe see the sticker right there. A little stamp, gold stamp, promotional pressing, which is the same thing as the stock. It just has that sticker. Um... This is, uh, I believe, another promotional, yeah, this is another promotional U.S. promo. Baby the Strange, and uh, that promotional stamp is right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. You probably can. There you go. Um, greatest Hits. And the cool thing about this, this is on Epic, a little bit of a different label. Um, the UK. The cool thing about this is the UK pressing was a single album and the US was a double album. Um, I, I, at first when I got this, I was like, oh man, he left an album out. And I looked at the, the at the track listing, I'm like, oh wait a minute, no. The UK pressing was a single album. That's kind of cool. So, some Diana Ross solo stuff. Um, these are all original first pressings. Uh, again, has, have these silly stickers on them, so they couldn't be sold for more. But these are all in really excellent shape, original Motown pressings. And I, I personally like early Diana Ross. Another one, again, because of, and and I know some people are like, we well, gotta try to get these stickers off. And I've tried on a couple of uh, albums, and there's just no way. I've tried all the tricks that you guys have talked about, and. They work on pretty much everything else, but, uh, you know, I trashed, I can't remember what album it was, but I trashed the cover trying to get it off. And one more Diana Ross. Screensaver here. In incredibly good shape. But again, because of the sticker, it couldn't be sold for more than a buck. Somebody else has lost my game. Johnny Nash, I can see clearly now. This is a great record, actually. I really, I really dug this record. War. I love the cover to this. Why Can't We Be Friends? Another great record. Adala. Um, what is this? This is LaBelle. Patty LaBelle. And this is great funk. 1974, I believe this came out. Lady Marmalade's on this record. This is a great record. Again, can't be sold because of this. That sticker couldn't be sold for more than a buck, so even though it's in great shape. Um, an Isley Brothers best of. Am I holding this right now? And uh, when I got home and I opened and I looked at this, I was just happy, you know, this has got a lot of great stuff on it. I opened it up, checked it out, and it's actually a UK pressing. So I was like, well, that's really kind of cool. Okay, um, some Otis Redding. This is my first Otis Redding vinyl. It's got Otis Redding on CD and stuff, but not on vinyl. This is an original mono press, 1965. Um, this is a uh, Dictionary of Soul. 
As you can hear, there's a train going by my house now. Isn't that nice? The soul train is going by. Isn't that great? Anyway. Now, no, actually, let me get into some other stuff here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay. B.B. King. Completely well. This is a great record. Awesome record by B.B. 1969. Marvin Gaye. I love these Motown comps. These anthologies. For the most part, they're really thorough. This goes up to 72. It's a triple album. Fantastic. And I got this for like three bucks. It's like I, there was no way I was going to pass up on that. Another Motown triple album anthology. Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Great stuff. All right. A um, few more things here. Some Elvis. This is pretty common, but I, I don't have it. I didn't have it, so I picked it up. It was really cheap, so... Sun Sessions. I have an original pressing of this that's really not in great shape, but I keep it because it's an original pressing. Um, this is a reissue. Um, and it's got that weird, funky, fake stereo thing going on. One more Elvis. This is not an original pressing either. But um, a great record from the King. I don't know if you can see this or not. This stuff's a little off center, and I apologize, but this is what it is. A few more to go, and I'm done. I'll let you guys be. West Montgomery. This was a great find. Moving West. Great stuff on Verve. Original pressing in great shape. An upgrade copy to this one. Jethro Tall, thick as a brick. I got up like five or six Jethro Tall albums in the dollar section. Um, 70s, you know, mid 70s, late 70s stuff. Um, this was not one of them. This was a couple bucks, but in great shape. And one last one. Picked this up about two weeks before he died. Johnny Winter. And. Uh, a live album from 1976. I've got only about four or five Johnny Winter albums on, on vinyl. Um, I'm going to lay off on collecting him for now because the price now that he's passed away, I'm sure the stuff has gone up. And I'm going to wait a little. So anyway, I know that took a little while. There was even more than that, but I'm not going to put you through it. Uh, again, as always, thank you for taking the time to watch these silly things. And please subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies about the, the record shop. And... Uh, I guess until next time, peace and love.